You look awful in this dress. It just doesn't suit you. Well, friends, sometimes you need to tell people something that could be a little offensive, that could, that probably is not very pleasant. So, well, there's a way you do it, okay? And this is what we are going to look at in today's lesson. How to start a sensitive subject. Now, when I say a sensitive subject, it could mean something that the listener may not be very pleased with or something not very positive or maybe something that could offend another person, right? But you need to say it, okay? So how are you going to start a negative or a sensitive subject? Well, one of the ways is you could say, I don't mean to be rude, but this dress doesn't really suit you. Now, you are saying the same thing, right? That the dress doesn't suit you. So instead of just saying it directly, uh, like the, dre the dress doesn't suit you, what you could do is say, I don't mean to be rude. Now, when you start with, I don't mean to be rude, you are making it very clear to the other person that your intention is not to be rude, to be mean, okay? You don't want to hurt the other person, but well, you mean good for the other person. You mean well, right? Now, if a friend of mine has worn a dress that doesn't really look good on her, I mean, I care for her, right? So I need to tell her that without really hurting her. Because imagine if someone tells you, you look awful. I mean, how would you feel, right? So the way to say it is, I don't mean to be rude. Like, it's not me to be rude or I'm not being mean, but... Okay, so but is a little contradictory. You're going to tell her what you want to say, but this dress doesn't suit you, okay? So this is one of the ways of introducing a sensitive subject. Now, the, the next way is, I hate to tell you this, even more intense than the first one. I hate to tell you this, okay? That you're really not happy even to break some news or maybe give information or speak about something sensitive, okay? I hate to tell you this, but the dress doesn't look good on you. I mean, you shouldn't wear something like this the next time you're out. So I hate to tell you this. It shows that I'm not happy to tell her what I'm about to tell her, okay? So this is another way of introducing a sensitive subject or passing a remark or uh, telling a person something that could offend them, okay, friends? So remember, when you say these phrases, you need to keep your tone very soft and subtle Okay, don't be harsh and loud because uh, you're not saying something very pleasant. Okay, the next one, I don't know how to tell you this. Okay, this just shows that I'm literally struggling with words. Okay, I'm still thinking, how do I tell you this? Or what are the correct words that would not offend you? So I tell my friend, I don't know how to tell you this, but Maria, your dress doesn't suit you. Okay. I have to tell you because there is no option, but at the same time, I really don't know how to tell you this. So this just shows that you're confused how to put the point across, okay? So the minute you say, I don't know how to tell you this, the other person is going to guess that something not so nice is coming my way, okay? Well, another way is you might not like what I have to say. Well. Definitely, if someone tells me that the dress doesn't suit me, um, it may be true, but it uh, you do feel a little bad, right? So when you say you might not like, you are warning the person that, hello, I'm going to say something that you might not like. Well, you don't have to say you won't like what I've got to say. It's just a nicer and a subtle way of saying you might not like. That means there is a possibility Okay. So there is a possibility, um, you know, that you just might not like what I have to say. Okay. So now imagine I'm with Maria and I look at her and say, Maria, listen, you might not like what I have to say, but the dress doesn't suit you. Okay. So, well, I'm warning her that I'm going to tell you something uh, which probably, okay, which probably... You're not going to like. 
So while the listener is pretty ready for something unpleasant his or her way, right? So, well, go ahead and use this phrase. It's one of my favorites and uh, it works well because you are actually warning the person way beforehand. Okay, friends? Well, the next, I wish, how I wish, okay? I wish I didn't have to tell you this. Now, imagine uh, my friends and I are all, you know, sitting at a party and talking and everyone feels that Maria should know that she's not too well dressed today. Nobody wants to go and tell her and everybody is like, you do it, you do it. And everyone says, okay, Rachna, finally you have got to go and tell Maria. So I don't want to because she's my friend, she's dear, I don't want to hurt her. At the same time, I want her to know that this is not, or rather her dress is not, you know, suiting her. So I tell her, Maria, I wish I didn't have to tell you this, okay? It's my wish, okay? I really wish. When you say I wish, it is actually something that is not going to happen, okay? What's going to happen is I'm going to tell her. So I say, Maria, I wish I didn't have to tell you this, okay? But your dress doesn't suit you. I wish I didn't have to tell you this, okay? Now let's take another example. For example, um, a company is downsizing and uh, you know employees are losing their jobs so the hr manager tells uh, one of the nicest employees they've had i mean he tells her sara i wish i didn't have to tell you this okay it shows that you feel sad you're not happy breaking the news i wish i didn't have to tell you this but you've lost your job okay i mean too bad so the minute you say it you also show a kind of like, you're just not happy doing it, okay, friends? So this is another nice way to speak about something sensitive. And the next one is, this may be unpleasant. Now, obviously, telling Maria that the dress doesn't suit her is unpleasant, okay? I'm warning her, and I say, Maria, this may be unpleasant, okay? There are chances you're going to find it unpleasant because, well, we all like compliments, right? We like compliments, but... Um, you know, receiving a feedback that's not very nice is something that is definitely unpleasant, right? So you say, this may be unpleasant, but the dress doesn't suit you, okay? Or like the HR manager tells his uh, employee, this may be unpleasant, but we're sorry, you know, you've got to, I mean, you've just lost your job or we are serving a one month notice period to you, fine? So definitely it is sensitive, these things are sometimes negative or pretty offensive where you feel the news or the message or the information is not going to go down very well uh, by the listener. Please introduce what you have to say in a very nice, subtle way and keep your tone subtle. Well, the last one, this may seem blunt. Now, there are people who want to put their point across, um, not really sugar-coated, they just feel they need to say it the way it is, okay, it's real and uh, there are no two ways about it. So the minute I say this may seem blunt, okay, now I use the word seem because the other person may perceive my words to be very blunt or harsh or too direct, okay. So I use this word seem that it may come across this way to you. So this may seem blunt. Now blunt means you are straight on the face, you say what you have to say, you don't beat around the bush and straight to the point, okay? So I don't wanna go beat around the bush. I wanna tell Maria that you're not going to wear this next time because this doesn't suit you. This may seem blunt, but this dress definitely doesn't suit you, okay? So, well, that is a fact, it's real. I don't know how to kind of uh, you know, sugarcoat my words or I really don't know how to beat around the bush or think of uh, 10 different ways of telling her. I just want to put a point across so she gets it clear. I say, this may seem blunt, but... Or the HR manager tells his employee, um, I may seem very blunt, okay, but you've lost your job or, you know, we are serving your one month notice period. So you warn the other person that what I'm going to say may come across as something very direct, okay, and uh, very real, but this is the way it is, okay, and this is the way I'm putting it across. 
So when you use the word seem blunt, it comes across as very direct or straightforward, but whatever your message is. Okay, friends? So these are certain phrases you could use when you want to talk about something that is sensitive, it could be something not very positive, it could be something that probably could offend uh, the other person. But remember, whatever information or news or whatever you are sharing, make sure you do it in private and uh, don't say certain things publicly where you could cause embarrassment to the other person, all right? Because anyways, you have something uh, not so pleasant to tell them, make sure you do it in private on a one-to-one -one basis, all right? See the situation and tell them what you need to. Okay, friends? Well, I hope you find these phrases useful. Go ahead and use them when you talk about sensitive subjects with someone. I'll be back soon with a new lesson. Till then, take care and bye.